Before we close the set, I'd like to acknowledge the wonderful band. The magnificent Mr. Kenny Barron on the piano. I kind of look at myself as a uh, team player, as opposed to someone who likes to stand out. And let's not forget about the master of the bass, Mr. Ron Carter. My job is to make the band sound like we've all been together for the past six months, despite only meeting this guy six minutes ago. How about a hand for one of the greatest drummers alive, Mr. Lewis Nash? I've made maybe 200 recordings as a sideman. It's much more democratic than I think people will give it credit for, especially once the music starts to be made. <laughs> I think the role of any sideman in any band is to help the band leader realize his concepts. Uh, when someone hires me to play in their band, um, I'm doing what they ask me to do. But yet and still, I'm also throwing in my, my two cents. But that's what jazz is all about. When I put my band together, it's about the group sound. And uh, that comes from getting good sidemen to uh, work with you. You definitely want guys who are going to inspire you. You know, guys who, if you give them, if you give them the music, and they play it, you think, "Wow, I didn't know it was going to sound like that." I don't think jazz is about reading what's on the paper. This music is living. It's, it's about breathing, heart beating. Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> what I think of my job as a bass player is to be able and willing to adjust my musical view for the good of the music in that particular organization. We put our creative input into the music as we hear it, as it at the time that we're playing it. And so I might do something completely different tomorrow night than I did tonight on the same song. Intuitive, You know, it's really about listening to your musical environment, you know, and, and if I hear the drummer do something, I can respond to it or, 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 or answer him, you know, and vice versa. Let's do I Never Told You First. Then Anyone who takes on the job of uh, being a leader has to accept responsibilities, making sure that everyone has all the information they need. Are there any rehearsals? What time? Where? These are the things that a leader does. And you take the bridge. She's going to play the melody. This week, my name is the one that's on the top. And I'm the one who's selecting the material and giving a sort of instruction as to who plays on what. If I want to start on one, boom, boom, boom. Being a band leader lets you know how spoiled you are as a side man. You got to deal with the transportation, you got to deal with managers, agents, you know, none of which has anything to do with a B flat. Uh, 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 uh. When you go in to hear the music, you're not just hearing the featured artist. There's more of a communal effort going on, and there doesn't need to be this constant singling out the leader as the person who is the most important.